Hi guys, I'm back with another review today. Like I said, sorry, I just almost fell over. And if my head's like getting cocked in a weird position, it's because I have like this weird kink in my neck, so turning it certain ways really hurts. <laughs> Um, like I said in my first to die, I'm going to be doing a review on Asylum by Madeline Rowe. And I'm going to read you a little blurb because I'm not that good at explaining books. For 16 year old Dan Crawford, a summer program for gifted students is the chance of a lifetime. No one else at his high school gets his weird fascinations with history and science, but at the New Hampshire College Prep Program, such quirks are all but required. Dan arrives to find that the usual summer housing has been closed, forcing students to stay in the crumbling Brookline dorm, former psychiatric hospital. As Dan and his new friends, Abby and Jordan, start exploring Brookline's twisty halls and hidden basements, they uncover disturbing secrets about what really went on here. Secrets that link Dan and his friends to the asylum's dark past. Because it turns out Brookline was no ordinary psych ward, and there are some secrets that refuse to stay buried. Featuring haunting found photographs from real asylums, this mind-bending reading experience blurs the lines between past and pre present, friendship and obsession, genius and insanity. So, that is what the book is about. Uh, now on to my opinions of the book. I thought the book was okay. I went into it hearing a lot of good reviews about it and not hearing that many bad reviews and there was a lot of hype for this book. But I kind of feel like the hype was, like, it shouldn't have been that hyped up. Like, yeah, I think it was a good book and stuff. But a lot of the time, what was going on was really vague. And you really you really didn't get to, like, connect with the characters at all. Like, the only character you connected with a bit was Abby, I think her name is. And she... And the only reason you connected with her was because she kind of stepped out there and told some of what was going on in her life. But she, she like all the other characters, including her, there wasn't really that much you found out about them. And I couldn't connect to any of the characters. What I liked about this book was the like photographs, like this one. I loved like the photographs in these. Um, I think it adds like a whole new perspective to the book because like... Without the photographs, you, you could never really picture what goes on in, in a sane asylum. So, like, the photographs kind of does the book justice. For me, I would give it a 3 out of 5 stars. I would recommend it as a read if you are kind of into creepy stuff because this book kept me up with a both, no, all three of my lights on the one night because I just got really scared by it. And it's, it's a good book, but at the same time, it's not a good book. A book where you either love it or you hate it. Um, and... I'm not towards the loving side. I mean, I don't hate it. I'm kind of in the middle. Like, I have a love-hate relationship with this book. And I'm also doing a July TBR to this video. Um, because a lot of people have been wondering if I'm going to do one of those. And I thought, you know what, I should try and challenge myself. But I only have five books for July. And four of them are in a series. So... I'll start. I just finished. I just finished Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, and now I am on to Hollow City, also by Ransom Riggs, the second book to Miss Peregrine's. Um, I literally just started it uh, like 30 minutes ago, so I'm not that far into it. I'm on page 19, and. When I started reading these, I didn't pick Miss Peregrine's to just, like, pick. I picked it on my TBR jar. And so, for me, I can't read a series without reading the next book next. Like, so, I'm reading this. And then, I picked out the next book in my TBR jar, which was Revenge of the Witch. And my boyfriend is currently, like, reading that series. So, I don't want to, like, step in on that until, like, he has all the books. So, I can borrow his books and read them straight through. But, so I picked another series, and this is a series, because it is the Beautiful Creatures box set. And so, I'm going to be challenging myself to read all of these in the month of July. And I know if I buckle down, and if they actually interest me, I could probably do that. Um, depending on 
how busy I am and if I'm working and if the books, like I said, piqued my interest, um, I could probably read one of these books in like two days if I really wanted to because I don't sleep. These are what I plan on reading for July. I'm being overtaken by books here. Next video is going to be on Miss Perry Grinds. It's going to be a review. With that being said, I'm going to end this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you liked all my other videos, click subscribe down below. Have any video requests, leave them in the comments. Want to be my friend? I have all the links in the description box down below. Also, I created a Facebook page for my YouTube, which I was convinced into doing, by my beautiful friend, Emmy. She's also Miss Emmy here on YouTube and Strawberry Cosplay on Facebook. So, with that being said, go click like on the Facebook page and I'm gonna go. See you next video. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar. I just finished Miss Peregrine's Home from Peculiar. Peculiar. God dang it! Oh, let's try this again. Let's try this again.